What's up everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to more from this commentary playthrough of Near Replicant. Without much further ado, we're going to continue towards the final major quest that I have an interest in doing for this particular run. Uh, we need to head back to the village for that and talk to the blacksmith and he's going to set us into motion. So let's go. I just want to try and activate another one of these. It doesn't seem like it's going to save me a ton of time, but... I might not even be coming back to this. Okay, right, that's how it works. Cool. I just wanted to see if maybe there really was like some kind of underground tunnel network. I think that was a bit ambitious, but I just wanted to know. Right, let's go. Go to see the blacksmith. Hey, you. You ever seen a treasure map before? A treasure map? Yeah, a treasure map. You know, a map that shows you where to find buried treasure. I'm collecting them. My lifelong dream is to one day roll naked in a pile of sweet, sweet treasure. That's an interesting dream. So that's why I'm looking for a new treasure map or two. If you find one, bring it on over to me, all right? Sure thing. I guess I should know where to look for a treasure map before telling the guy sure thing. One could hardly expect to stumble across such a thing lying on the ground. Perhaps we should look for a place where old documents are stored. Old documents, huh? If there's one thing, if there's one good thing about this game not having a huge amount of areas and locations, is that looking for stuff is not quite as difficult. So, if you want to look for an old map, then there's only one place to look. Giant egg. I think I needed that for like one of the upgrades, actually. That's a lucky drop. But I think I need two eagle eggs for the phoenix sword, unfortunately, which I don't even have one. And the area is destroyed, so I don't know how that's going to work. Okay. Uh, does the old man know? I think I'm beginning to understand. Climate change wasn't the cause of our woes. It was only a symptom. The real trouble started when something terrible came down from the sky. It seems that this event turned the world into a metropolis of salt. I guess they're talking about how most of the city sunk into the ocean? Metropolis of salt. Interesting. I don't know if we have to look on the shelves ourselves or if we have to speak to Popola, but... Oh. Hmm. This book is pretty beat up. As a fellow tome, I find this a sad sight to behold. When will books receive the respect they deserve? Calm down. I'm sure it had a happy life. Let's see here. Hey, is this a map? It is. And one with many unusual markings at that. Perhaps this is a treasure map like that fellow was referring to earlier. Yeah, but it's so damaged I can't make heads or tails of it. I wager the damaged sections can be repaired. Perhaps the facade Strange Thing store would be able to assist us. Worth a shot. Hmm, okay. So at least we do have something that's a little bit more sort of back and forth, a bit more kind of exploration driven too. A little bit of mystery. I mean, we have had a few back-to-back -back sort of... Um, heavy hitting hardcore boss battles so it's a good change of speed for the final major quest well side quest honestly though I think like the spatial difference between the two sand well thingies that I activated is, is not really going to be enough to help me probably factor in like going to it selecting it and the loading times I'm better off just sprinting for another 5 seconds 10 seconds 
Yeah, so let's see how long it takes out of curiosity. So once we pass this, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Roughly, plus or minus like a second. So, yeah, but it's not going to be very useful for that specific move. It's a shame they don't put one right where the, the boat is, to be honest. Well, very close to it. Alright, the Strange Thing store should be on this side. Hi there. Do you carry axles and paddle boards? Oh yeah, I think we needed this for a different quest that I triggered, like, much earlier. Oh, great. So, how much do you need? I probably don't have ten of each of those. Gotcha. Teams. I'll be back in a bit. Water wheels are great, but they're a pain in the butt to maintain. In the past, humans harnessed different methods to provide energy. Like what? One such method was achieved through the intricate compounding of iron and fire. Wow! What did they do with that? Oh, a great many things. It could be used to power large iron crates called trains, or illuminate whole cities against the dark of night. Oh. Yeah, no thanks. Why not? Who wants to move a big iron crate? And how am I supposed to sleep if it's all bright outside? <laughs> well, I suppose if you wish to look at it that way... Besides, my life is lots of fun already. If more people were like you, Emil, this world might not be half bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotta enjoy the little things and the, the important things in life. Hey, can you fix damaged books? Yeah, so it's one of those quests, he needs his materials. And what would those materials be? Okay. Let's see what, if any, of those we have. Surely we have the machine oil. We have one log. Right, we have seven machine oils. Okay, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'll, I'll focus on the goat hides first. I don't know where we... I don't know if we, we have to cultivate eggplants. If that's so, that's annoying. I don't know if there's a place we can buy them. Okay, this is a shade that we haven't encountered before, by the way. So, hold on. For that reason, I will try and take it on. This is the one that we had at the top of... Um, we had at the top of the Lost Shrine. The thing is, it doesn't get knocked down either. I think that's working though. I'm just also wondering what it drops. Especially in hard mode though, it's annoying. There you go, it finally dropped. Oh, we didn't get an item, really? <laughs> Damn, poor Emil's been poisoned. He's just chilling. So yeah, this one will help me with the fast travel a bit.
Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. Yeah, so this place is still my farming zone. It, it has, I think, four or five of them, and it's always pretty easy to do, so... Unfortunately, you've got to kill a lot of goats for it, but already I got three. I think in, like, six kills, I got three hides, or, like, seven kills, something like that, so... That's pretty easy. Now I've got to find out how to... How to get eggplants. And I ain't talking about them DM emojis. Okay, so... Thankfully, you can buy them from the grocery store, so this should be pretty damn easy. And then we just have to go back to Facade and hopefully get ourselves a repaired map. And then we'll see where the quest goes from there. This one had quite a long description. There was some back and forth and stuff, so I didn't really read it in detail. I was only going to refer back to it if I got stuck, so... We'll see. No, it's not there. Oh, okay. Because they have a quest, I couldn't see them. The the icon for the shop didn't appear. Is. Oh. Everything all right, ma'am? No. My son has come down with a strange illness. He's been ill for a week, and no matter what I do, it just seems to get worse. That's not good. Any idea what's causing it? No. He went out to play with the other children like he usually does, and when he came home, he was sick. Something must have happened to him out there. I'll see what I can figure out. You will? Of course. Meddlesome as always, I see. Shall we begin by questioning the children? Sounds like a plan to me. I suppose all children are precious to their own parents. Yeah. But if the cause of the illness is a mystery, then we have little way to search for a cure. Well, you're smart. Come up with something. Perhaps we should speak with the local children. Why would kids know when the adults don't? Even the oldest adult in the world is but a child to my eyes. <laughs> That's true. It's all relative. I know things aren't cheap right now, but we don't have a choice. Okay. You'd better come back in one piece. You hear me? Right. So now it's back to Facade, to the strange shop. Hopefully we got everything that he needs. Actually. Still quicker to go this way, I think. <laughs> to be honest, this is one of the kids we... Wait a minute. This is one of the kids we need to talk to, I think. So let me just do that. I might end up just doing this quest anyway. totally cursed him. That's why he's sick. Everyone told him not to play in there, but he did anyway. Well, there you go. That's already a clue. The forest totally... Hmm. The, the prompts still look like that, so I was just curious if she had more. Ho there. Ho there. So this time I'm going to see just how quick it is. I'll actually use it. It took me 10 seconds last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It maybe saves like one or two seconds. I got the materials you needed. Not that I have any idea how they're supposed to be helpful. Sachi, Sarikisa, de, de de, sakete, taku de itte, yari jitto de kitare. 
I mean, you've got to give props here. It's one of these things where I was literally thinking this while I was doing the quest. One of these things where in these sort of titles with like quest elements and stuff, they ask for the most randomest shit. And you're like, you have an old map and the, the guy wants like eggplants and machine oil and goat hides. They're just asking for random shit. And the fact that they made Nier ask him like, or like mention the fact that he doesn't know what they're for. And even if it's like a, not the most satisfying explanation in the world, they still try to give you some explanation of why those items were chosen. I think that's actually pretty cool. So you, you've got to respect that. So there you go, kids. If you ever want to restore a book, machine oil, eggplants, and goat hides. You learned something new today. Hey, this looks great. Let's get it back to the client. Okay. Back we go. It wouldn't be near replicant if there wasn't some back and forth. Have to roll all the way back to the village. Okay, let's see what's in store next. Now that we have the map, where is it going to take us? And is it going to be the case that once again we have a, a big shade to defeat? Oh. Oh boy. Somebody dead. Is your husband around? I have something for him. Sorry, he's out shopping for weapons right now. Oh, all right. Well, can you give him this book? <sighs> Fine. If I may, madam, what is it about our transaction that has you so dissatisfied? This is another map, isn't it? Well, as soon as he sees it, he's going to run off on some fool treasure hunt again. One of these days, he's going to get himself killed. I understand. I know what it's like to worry about someone. I don't suppose... Look, is there any way you can find this treasure? If you can track it down and bring it to my husband... That would be enough to satisfy his curiosity. I think we can do that. But first, we gotta figure out where this map leads. That seems like Popola's area of expertise. Perhaps she has some advice for us. Yeah, let's go talk to her. Surely you are aware that meddling in the affairs of a married couple will accomplish nothing. Look, I took on a job and I'm gonna see it through. Your sense of duty is positively breathtaking. <laughs> Hey, I know what it feels like to worry about family. If we can keep others out of danger by handling stuff like this, I'm all for it. It is a tremendous burden. And yet I cannot say I dislike that way of thinking. <laughs> he is very consistent, I'll give him that. I heard there's a scary curse on all the forests in the world. And the bigger the forest, the scarier the curse. Thankfully for us, there's only one forest in this game, so... Clearly, that's where the kid's gone. But for now, it's back to old Popola once again. Hey, got a minute? I have a map I need your help with. Sure. What kind of map? Here, let me show you. Hmm. This looks <laughs> like a map of the Lost Shrine. Of course. Apparently this leads to some unidentified object of great importance. It also talks about a hidden room in the Lost Shrine where sunlight doesn't reach. I'd bet that's where your secret treasure is hiding. A hidden room in the Lost Shrine, huh? Thanks for the help. Oh, not at all. Glad to be of service. Hmm, okay. So, the Lost Shrine once again. Thankfully, we spent a few hours away from it, so it's not quite so bad. But in terms of the hidden room, I, I obviously don't know exactly where it is at this point. I don't know if it wants me to go up to the top and like you move something out of the way and it reveals a room or if it's one of the the actual like interior lower floors. So I think for the Lost Shrine it's definitely best to go through this bit again. I wish there was a way up from here. It'd be so much more convenient. Just put like a box here so that we could just quickly get up there. 
this sort of forcing you to go through this and then up up over the stairs and that kind of stuff, it's a bit... Since it's designed for fast travel, I think that's clunky. Okay, so according to the guide, it's on the second floor. So that's what we're going to have a look at. Here's the first floor. Okay, so we're on the second floor at the moment. But it doesn't really specify where on the second floor it is. Okay, is it this? Is this the treasure? Not but a pile of junk. It seems this treasure map was a ruse. Now what? His wife isn't going to like this at all. So in terms of location, this is the room on the second floor, by the way. But yeah, I've not been finding anything. We've been in Lost Shrine like a billion times now. I'm just working my way through. And now that I know how to get out of here again... <laughs> Right, let's see what the situation is going to be now. How'd it go? We followed the map, but all we found was a pile of junk. I see. In that case, can I ask you to sell my jade hair ornament and purchase something shiny with the proceeds? Then we can give it to him and pretend that you found it. You sure? This looks pretty valuable. That's because it is. But if it keeps that idiot husband of mine home safe, then it's worth it. Well, should we obey the wife's request and sell her jade hair ornament? Hmm. Well... I think we have to sell it to continue the quest. I believe. Let me double check this. So I think we have to sell it. Well, if that's what she wants, let's go to the Strange Thing store and see what we can get for it. Okay, let's go. So yeah, this is the most back and forth quest we might have had in the entire game. Particularly because it involves facade, which is always a, a more annoying place to get to. Because even with the boat, you still have to run for like 30 seconds. And over multiple trips, that adds up. Okay, here we are once again. Sotori to Chikitai? Izaki Zasara, Soto Luisinsa, today, Dosata. Okay, well, that was it, and literally all the way back now. The power of editing, my friends. That's why, like, the final playtime is going to be like 45, 50 hours, but. There's going to be like 70 parts worth, which would equate to like 35. All that running back and forth has been edited out. Right, let's see where this saga is going to take us now. At least he's back. Yes, gold! <laughs> that map was right all along. Not sure it's enough to roll around in, but maybe I can make it work. Oh, how wonderful. Now will you please <laughs> promise to stop with all this treasure hunting? I promise, honey. From now on, it's nothing but good, honest work for me. Oh, but wait. There's <laughs> one more thing. Here. This is the first map I ever found. Take it. I won't be needing it anymore. Okay. Hmm. 
This map's even more cryptic than the last one. Well, guess what we have to do. Yet I feel confident the rubbish it will lead us to is the same. Now come, we've little time to waste with such trifles. Probably, but treasure hunting is all about believing in what's possible, Vice. <laughs> such things are beyond even my comprehension. Think of it as a game, if that helps. Now let's go talk to Popola and see if she can help with the map. Okay, I think this is the last phase of it. Popola's gonna tell us something and then we're gonna go. And I think that's where we find the weapon that we're looking for. And at that point, I'll need to take a mini break and have a look at this DLC situation and whether we need it for ending B or not. It still seems strange to me that a DLC is required to get an ending for a game. Like it definitely wasn't like that for Nier Automata. And that game had a whole bunch of them, so I feel like the DLC weapon should be unrelated to the ending, but I'd need to check. It shows up on my list, like as of, of of all the of all the weapons that you can get, so maybe it is, but Okay, once again. Hey, I've got another map for you. Alright, let me take a look. Here. Hmm. Well, the code on this is pretty tricky, but I think it's a map of the Northern Plains. It mentions something about the place where the Iron Bridge starts, but that's all I can make out. Sorry I can't be more help. No, this is great, Popola. Thanks. Okay, that should be all we need. There's not exactly a huge amount of things in the Northern Plains, so we should be able to get the weapon. and then round off the quest list that I have. And from then on, I think we can just focus on all of the remaining story and endings. I mean, obviously one thing I'm looking forward to is with the ending, surely we're gonna get some more stuff about like Devola and Popola and stuff, right? Because that was a bit of a shocker when we got there the first time, the way they turned into antagonistic figures and we had to fight and take them out. Like that's important. Then we have, of course, the whole Shadow Lord side of the story. So I feel like the ending is going to be one of the places where we're really going to see some differences from um, from ending A. Compared to Route A. So I'm going to head towards this particular bridge over here. Pretty sure this is what it means. Oh, wait a minute. I saw this. That's a weapon sign. Get it, get it, get it. Excellent. Labyrinth Shout. Wow. So. It would appear this latest treasure map was the real thing. Yeah, I'd say this is an ample reward. Perfect. Okay. So, now we have Labyrinth Shout done too. Really, they came all the way down here as well. Little fuckers. Let me have a look at this. 90%. Um, it says there's three more weapons. Fool's Embrace, Fool's Lament, Fool's Accord. From your second playthrough on, you can access the former world of Recycle Vessel DLC by reading the diary of the protagonist's mother on the first floor of your house. Beat the enemies behind all three doors to receive one weapon each. Okay. I mean, I feel like this is the kind of thing where, with or without it being necessary, it seems like a fun thing to do. And um, we get to play as uh, Papa Nier as well, which I've obviously never got to do before since I didn't play the original. So what I will do is save, and then we'll have a look at this DLC and see what we've got. That way it doesn't really matter whether it's necessary or not, I would have done it anyway. And well, it's battle-based, so it's worth doing, I think. You guys have been watching long enough that I'm sure you're going to enjoy watching another hour or two, potentially. Or maybe more, who the hell knows, with these extra battles. 